Well, hello everyone, and here with another Lego Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on the Hogwarts Whomping Willow. So, um, from the box, here we see the Lego logo, Harry Potter logo, the board that we've seen for a little while, and a picture of the whole set that there is, and a car coming from the Whomping Willow, and Wizarding World logo there. Got all the big things included. Recommended ages 8 through 14, set number 75953, has 753 pieces. And flip to the back to see the back side of the corridor part of it, and uh, move the walking below, all kinds of different views of it, and how it connects to the Hogwarts Great Hall, of course. And onto the booklets, which comes with two manuals. So the same pictures on the front and everything. On the back, the first of which is how to win on the online survey. And for the second one of which, ask for the for both it and the Hogwarts Great Hall and how they attach together, of course. All the pieces that come with the set. Which is three pages actually, and then list of all the main things included in each set. Uh, for the Fantastic Beasts sets, which I am also reviewing, and uh, for Lego Life with Harry in it, and the last steps. So, onto the mini things. First of which is Harry Potter himself, of which so the torso print of which is exclusive to this set, but the face and hair piece common in most sets. Same with the back torso print of which. There's his double side face of which. So he's good to have some more variety of which and he and Ron and some of the others are using the short legs in this for their appearance in the Chamber of Secrets, of course. Next to it is Ron Weasley, of another exclusive variant. Or, correct me if I'm wrong, that this variant might also be in the Hogwarts Express set, but not sure about that, but whatever. But it looks good. But the torso print does look good, but the face prints and hair piece, of which common in most other sets, so back torso print, also good, and there's the double side face, of course. Next to which, Hermione Granger, of which, same everything as in the Quidditch Match set. Like hair piece, the face print, everything. Also the double side face there as well. And next to which is, oh, who it, I think might be exclusive to this set is the Zemas Finnegan. But it has the torso prints, so which just about the same as Hermione's, of course. Which is good since they're both suited to Gryffindor. And but his face print is quite good, and it's holding the tan wand, of also, of course. And the back torso print, also the same. And also an odd double side face, of course. But at least good to have some exclusive ones in sets. And next to which is Severus Snape, of which same appearance as in the Quidditch Match and Clock Tower sets, of course. So not much to say on that. Same double side face, of course. And last but not least is Argus Bill. And his torso print, oh, it does look good. Leg print also quite looks great, well suiting to him. And although the slight bit of skin part of the torso print 
doesn't match up with the face plane like the series black in except in the expected patrol set not sure why but whatever and it does have the newer lantern piece that we've been seeing for a while and his face printer which well suiting to him and also the ball cap hair piece oh it does works good to end can definitely work for use for custom minifigs and all in fact torso print also good and also have a double side face of course First for the builds is the enchanted car. Oh, it, the build of it does look good. Oh, it's quite a little bit better than the last couple variants they did back in like 2002 and 2010, of course. Well, I'm still using that usual uh, front plate part or slope part the good hood effect and I've seen some yellow studs for the headlights and good use of this like archway uh, wheel ridden piece but for a grill you know it's, you like license plate used on both front and back and good use of these wheels that perfectly suited and for the back part of which has um, of the like cheese slopes for tail lights and the back trunk of which does open up and you get the two of the newer suitcase pieces okay. and also the doors do open up like any other Lego car and there's the top area of which is on a very few studs and got just enough space to fit both Ron and Harry in it but however can only fit them like front and back rather than like side to side and like in the movie although the wands oftentimes get in the way of it although you can like take off and all oh whoops There you go. And on to what gets the set, the name of which is the Wampy Willow. A which a quite good design to it. Like the bottom part, it has good use of those inward jagged slopes. Sent a whole ton of chief slopes acting as both moss and bark, and also those horn pieces as roots. Okay. And all of the tan or the dark gray rod kind of stick out a bit. It sticks out. Although they could have used some more brown pieces to cover that up, but also got some more dark brown slopes and also some things acting a in hole in the bottom so many things can slide through it. Or oh, which can, of course, get right through. Which in the later films, being a, uh, uh, which one is it? Well, probably or the Phoenix, yeah, and or Half Blood Prince, uh, one of the two, when they do that. But as for the middle trunk part, which are mostly the two cylinder pieces with long stickers on them. And a whole bunch of like old time animal tail pieces is surrounding it as extra trunk bits to it. And the upper part of which has a lot of the light gray mixel joints which really stand out, but although it's it's forgiven and all. You have some of those technic holder bits with a couple of the plant stems onto them which do fall off quite easily. Although I wish they should have included some of the, uh, some of the little Technic pin pieces and 
to hold it in better. But on the ends of which are those the three way ones with tops of elephant trunk pieces acting as the grabbing branches of it. And all the top part, which is enough space to put your enchanted cart onto it. And oh, yes, as you see, they do fall off quite easy. Although it does well work for the scene with leaves falling off and all. Also, what this little knob here, which is for it, where you can turn this and it swivels back and forth, or it turns all around. So, a good range of posability given for this walking villa. Which is probably the first time we've ever had this. Yeah, it is. And at least works great for it. Although it could have had some tilt feature to put the car down, like in the scene. Now, on to the Hogwarts corridor part of this. Play. I have good use of some of the regular castle bit pieces, and also to one side, which are a couple open Technic pins, and that's where you connect it to the Hogwarts Great Hall set, of course. Yes. Although I do have some light and dark uh, slopes, well, jagged slopes, yeah, with a couple of the newer foliage plant leaf pieces, and the like, middle part of it has some more of that going on. And also, get plenty of these, like, of the old-time castle window pieces that do that kind of effect, and a lot of these brick detailings is usually stickers. But the center part of which is this big large archway and enough space to roll your enchanted cart onto these ones, also suiting to this sequence in the movie. And get one of those small castle bits, well, both ones. Like, oh, it is some more of that, same kind of effect. And has some of the brick bricks, as some people call them. And another is a few, couple more open holes, which to fit the clock tower corridor onto it. And if look from the back, and see, it was, it was probably Snape's office. And, with that little printed tile of the Daily Prophet, which is found in most other sets. Yeah, there we go. And with that candle, that also has a few sets. And if you can notice inside are a few more sticker details. So, and also have this couple of the the cone pieces acting as uh, lanterns, and then further down of which have this like shelf of various potions and things, and also a little uh, box here that has a little frog hidden in it, and up above is a couple of beds for the Gryffindor uh, sleeping area or infirmary. Whichever one it is. And of course, uh, another sticker that has the Gryffindor flag to it. And above is oh, this a little tile and a little feather, probably for a quill pin, and the newer owl piece that is representing Hedwig. And also, it's back down to here. Uh, a little stirring stick that is a cauldron, and another cauldron with a one of the crystal pieces from uh, power miners, of course. Oh, 
And of course, one of these little uh, rack shelves that have power potions and things, which oftentimes kind of fall off of them since they're attached onto a single stud in this kind of hard to reach too. Right, hang on. I'm also a tiny bit hidden in there are some more uh, sticker pictures. There's a some more of that. And the same lantern effect. Although I wish that these clip pieces could have been in light gray, but or I'm not light gray, uh in the same tan color as the rest of it. But also another feature with this is Oh, it's also a good extent to the clock tower is that some of it is somewhat modular, like this part, and this part, and this part and are detachable and modular, so you can like move it around however you want. Which also good for both the uh, great hall and clock tower, which really cool for them. This, I think, a pretty cool set. At least get both the Corridor and the Eternal Car and the Whopping Willow. And the Whopping Willow, of which does well, does a good job while capturing of what it is. At least, at least good for this to add on to both the other Corridor sets and have it as a more better part of Hogwarts, of course. And also, at least good that it comes with the Eternal Car to like rolls right on through into it, of course. And get a couple good exclusive mini things, although just a few of which, or just a pair of which, kind of a little repetitive, and yeah. And if you're looking to add this to your Hogwarts uh, corridor collection, then go ahead and pick this up. And if you're looking to continue your Harry Potter collection, also go ahead and pick it up. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.